Hey everyone, this is Tal Lee with TGN.TV. Let's do some Battlegrounds, shall we? 4.1 is fucking out. Let's see how we do. Some of the new changes. I'm excited with Sacred Duty. Oh my god, it's me versus a Prot Warrior. This is going to be too fucking easy. Now I'm going to show you a change, okay, that happened in 4.1 where uh, whenever we get the Grand Crusader proc, um... We get an extra Holy Power point if we press Avenger Shield within that Grand Crusader proc. And that actually helps us get our Sacred Duty Shield of the Righteous uh, crits faster, which is awesome for PvP. It makes us do way more damage than in the previous patch. Now, this warrior, what's he hitting me for? 2k, 700, 1800, oh, 1400 Avenger Shield. He's going to get it. Here we go. The Inqua Boom's coming. Boom! 28k. Now we're going to slow it down a little bit here. So here we go. I'm going to get a Holy Power Point with Crusader Strike right there. I hit Avenger Shield, and there we go. Avenger Shield for 26,000. Finish him off with a 20k hammer of fuck your face. I just went Friday on that motherfucker. You just got knocked the fuck out. 14k Crusader Strike. I'm still going. For, come on, hit him with the shield, baby. I'm spamming the shield. Hit F. Hit F. He parried it. No, we did in 27.8k. So let's talk about a few changes with uh, Sacred Duty and Avenger Shield. So we realize that every time Grand Crusader proc is up, uh, we you know if we hit uh, Avenger Shield within that Grand Crusader proc, we get an extra Holy Power point. Sacred Duty now also procs off of Avenger Shield and Judgment, which means for prop paladins that Sacred Duty is gonna be up. I don't know a lot more. It's gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna say maybe like 30, 40 something percent of the time. Here we go. Inqua Boom on this hunter. 29k. He's running away. <laughs> Fucker was AFK. I was like, come here, bitch. Oh, 31k Avenger Shield. Fucked in the face. Jesus Christ. Big dwarf cock in your eye. Oh my eye. Oh my eye. But um, in general, Sacred Duty is up a lot more now uh, with Prop Paladin PvP, which makes it amazing for us to hit our Shield of the Righteous crits. And um, Ankle Booms are still there. Everything's still rocking. As you can see, I barely even used... Uh, you're going to see that I barely used Word of Glory this entire um, video at all. I mean, Word of Glory was not really even a crutch to begin with. People were just screaming and QQing all over the forums. Oh, man. We lost our Word of Glory. What do we do? I don't know how I'm going to live with myself. I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. I, I did all these BGs. Barely using Word of Glory, and I did perfectly fine. Oh, God. Arcane. So is that what's happening now? Are mages, like, testing Arcane now just because they buffed the damage? Arcane Missiles. Am I going to go back? What, what was it? Burning Crusade or something? When Arcane was, like, the shit? But, um, yeah. So now with Grand Crusader uh, proc giving you a Holy Power point, now we're generating Holy Power faster and faster. We're getting our Sacred Duty procs faster and faster, which means that, you know, the closer we get to Sacred Duty, if we keep our Sacred Duty up almost, you know, 70, 60% of the time, that means every single Shield of the Righteous that a Paladin hits is going to end up being a crit, which is pretty amazing. Uh, here's going to be another big hit coming in right here. I'm going to Inqua Boom the... Uh, I think, yeah, I hit the DK for, bam, 46.4k Shield of the Righteous. I die anyway because I was really low on HP. I killed the warrior beforehand, though, which is basically what I wanted to do. What is this gay shit? I'm sorry. I had to say it. Seven, six, five, four, three. You know who did this? Rift had this. Rift had this. Uh, I, what the fuck? And then the, and then the ha does it have to have the picture of the Alliance Lion there? Like, did they have to throw that in? If you've played Rift, Rift has the same system where they actually um, put do a countdown on the screen in big numbers, and then it starts. I don't know if Blizzard was just trying to mimic it, copy it, make fun of them. I don't know. Here I am abusing on a poor little goblin, dwarf versus goblin. Hey, it's fair, right? We're like the same fucking height. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm about to judge this fucker, though. Ooh, there we go. The Avengers Shield procced what I wanted, which was a sacred duty, and I'm going to hit someone with the Shield of the Righteous. 16k, uh, 5k absorbed, uh, which would have been a 21k. He actually has his cooldowns up. AK Hammer of Fuck Your Face. Let's go to this Shaman right here. But, I mean, just look at how fast I'm actually generating my Holy Power. It's pretty impressive. I, I'm, I have to actually change my spec now because I really don't need Eternal Glory anymore, or I really don't need even Guarded by the Light. Because um, Word of Glory is only going to be used for a spot heal. It's not ever going to be used for like an absorb shield anymore. Not in my opinion. Look at this guy trying to take our flag. What is this a blood DK? I can't see it. This is blurry to me right now. I think he's blood. He might be something else. Did he die already? 
Okay, <laughs> maybe he died too quick. Let's get on this priest here. Priest's name is Suzanne. Fucking retarded. So here we go. Someone's gonna get Inquiboomed. Oh god, it was the warrior. Thirty-seven point one k Inquiboom on the warrior. Um, and honestly, if you time it perfectly and you don't miss, you can. Ooh, twenty-six point nine k. Man, the Avenger shields are. Oh, eighteen k shield of the righteous. Um, if you actually time it properly, you could probably get two Inquibooms in uh the in the whole duration of an avenger uh excuse me avenging wrath in your wings if you don't miss and if the target doesn't cc you and you just train somebody like if i'm training this uh priest right here but um pretty exciting stuff i'm really pumped up about these changes because this is really good for prop pvp and it's also good for pve damage on bosses i mean this past week in my raid my threat was like so amazingly high i just i was like oh it, it almost it was as if i was in wrath of the lich king and it was just like, LOL, AFK, get threat. Look at this guy. He's going to run away. Look at I judge him. He just turns around. He fucking starts running. Where are you going? Come back here. Fight like a man, you fucking pussy. Well, everyone get his name. Go to his server. Find out who he is and call him a big, fat pussy. Sorry, I'm uh, drinking a Four loco. It's about 11, 12 a.m. <laughs> I'm drinking a four loco. Uh, I didn't do much. I did a little bit of damage this round. Not too many killing blows. I was running flags most of the time. Mm -hmm. mm. <coughs> 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 oh. Oh, man, that weed is strong. Oh, that weed in four loco is strong. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, my God. 31.3K shield, right? Just 23. Okay, hammer of fuck your face. Oh, man. Sorry, I just took a nice little, uh, whoo. I took a nice little puff of the, um, weekend special, as we call it over here in Cali. And, uh, a nice swig of that for Loco, and it kind of choked me up. Man up, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is not good for children. There's no hope with dope kids. There's no hope with dope. <laughs> I <have> to say. <coughs> All right, so this is, uh, I of the gay. Uh, let's see. Oh, God. Another. Th this was actually my favorite battleground of the night because I was actually whooping some ass. This is where I was pretty much... This will. This is where you will see all the changes to Prop Paladin in effect. Um, here we go. We're going to start off on this hunter. Uh, we're going to Inkle Boom his ass. Let's see how much we hit him for. Oh, 36.5k Inkle Boom. Not bad. Um, the best part about playing in the BG9 on Kill Jaden is that you're playing against a lot of really skilled players. And you're playing against a lot of players with a lot of resilience. So you really get to see how hard you can really hit with your main abilities. Uh, as you can see, my ankle booms are only hitting for 26, 35, 40k. Whereas on my old server, they were hitting for like, I don't know, 50, 55k. Because not that many people PvP, not, that, not much resilience. Bubble Medic. Oh my god. What kind of... He should die just for that name. And this guy death grips me. What is he thinking when he does that? 17k. Um, S tour. I call it S tour, even though it doesn't sound like S tour, but I like calling it S tour. Don't judge me. 17k again. Um, I'm just 13k hammer. Fuck your face. I'm just rolling from one fucker to the next. This team had these two priests. Oh my god, they were so fucking annoying. They were just healing each other the entire time. Now while I'm owning in this battleground, let's talk a little about a little bit about rotation. People always ask me, Tally, what rotations do you use? What rotations do you use? Um, the rotation right now for PvP is pretty simple. Never. Never, ever, ever, fucking ever, ever, ever in the land of never, ever land. Fucking do three holy power points with a shield of the righteous without sacred duty. Never do that. It is a waste of your fucking shield of the righteous. You're going to end up doing like, I don't know, eight, nine K damage. It's just not fucking worth it. Always wait. Since Avenger Shield and Judgment both proc sacred duty, you want to go fishing, baby. Go shh. You want to you want to you want to you want to go deadliest catch on that motherfucker, right? You want to fish the fuck at ooh, nice little combination there. This fucking holy paladin, man, he's getting healed by the other holy paladin. It's not looking good. So I just decided to shit on everyone else. But um, yeah, what was I saying? Fucking for loco. When it comes to um, you know your holy power points, you want to fish the fuck out of that sacred duty. Now that it procs off of Avenger Shield and Judgment. So, I mean, in between, if you're not getting that Sacred Duty proc, maybe you're getting, you know, bad RNG. Ooh, 10k Crusader Strike. Here it comes. Here it comes. Press the Inquiboom. Press the Inquiboom. What's going to come next? 
What's going to come next? Oh, that hit so fucking hard. Oh, did he just whirlwind me for like 2k? Fucking sad. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I'm just shitting on motherfuckers left and right. This is great. So always want to, you always want to fish that sacred duty proc. And once you have the sacred duty proc, you have a few choices. Uh, if you have your Avenger shield and your wings and your trinket up, then pop those. Or pop Inquisition, then pop those and go for the big hit. If you don't have your trinket or wings up, then just go for the normal Shield of the Righteous. Uh, right now, it's so much easier to get consecutive Shield of the Righteouses in lesser time than it was before. Before, you had to work up your points and work up your points. Then Shield of the Righteous. Now, since Grand Crusader procs, here we go. I use Grand Crusader proc right there. Crusader Strike and Hammer of the Righteous for 17.9k. So that was, right there was a perfect example of me utilizing my uh, Holy Power generation from uh, Avenger Shield through Grand Crusader, okay, to generate that extra Holy Power, which, you know, it, it's almost like you're saving a GCD, okay? You're basically saving yourself a GCD to get to another Shield of the Righteous faster. So um, I'll, I'll post this in text somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I really don't like doing tutorial videos on PvP because it's really baseline for Paladins. All you have is two abilities that you want to concentrate on. I mean, obviously, no-brainer. You have to hit your Crusader Strike whenever it's up. Never in your fucking life miss your Crusader Strike um, ability ever. Just don't fucking do it. Ooh, here we go. We're going to shit on this fucking Pharaoh right here. Pharaoh Druid. Oh, God. Hang it. Show this guy how to play. Look how bad he is. Look how bad he is. Oh, my God. His bleeds are doing no damage. His bleeds are doing no damage. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Oh, don't, don't run away from me, boy. Where you going, boy? Oh, 10K. Come on, hit him with the big one. Hit him with the biggie. Hit him with the biggie. I'm, I'm trying to get, like, that fucking, oh, 12K, Shield of the Righteous. Finish him off. Come on, he, he went bare form. What the fuck's he thinking? He's going to die anyway. But just when they go in bare form, it takes them a while to go down. But, um, like, let I mean, let's go over right now. Let's go over a quick little recap of what you should do as a prop paladin in PvP. All right, number one, Crusader Strike. Always, oh, I'm, not, I'm doing this raw style. This is not, you know, pre-drafted. I'm just telling you right off the fucking, right off my brains. Oh, my God, this four locals really fucking me up. <laughs> uh, what you guys need to do. And trust me, it's not just because I'm fucking plastered, wasted, you know, Friday motherfucker off my mind. I'm really telling you what you need to do. Okay, step one, Prop Paladin PvP. Always hit Crusader Strike. Um, Always hit Crusader Strike. Off of every GCD. Never miss your Crusader Strike, okay? Number two, if you have to choose between Avenger Shield and Judgment, if it's currently active at the moment, um, always choose Avenger Shield first. Why? Because number one, Avenger Shield Glyph for 30% uh, more damage will hit harder than your Judgment. And two, um, it also generates Holy Power. So let's say you have only one Holy Power point. You get your, you hit Crusader Strike. You get um, your Avenger Shield proc. You hit Avenger Shield. You get another cru um, Holy Power point. You hit Crusader Strike, and then that's it. You basically save yourself one to two GCDs to get to your Shield of the Righteous quicker. So if you have a choice between Avenger Shield and Judgment, you're always going to want to hit Avenger Shield first. All right, guys, Avenger Shield first, not Judgment. Not that it really matters since they both give you Sacred Duty, but Avenger Shield will do more damage, so you want to concentrate on that first if it's available. Um, always fish. Okay, number three, always fish up your Sacred Duty, okay? Never, ever, ever in your fucking life do a three Holy Power Point Shield of the Righteous without Sacred Duty up. It is stupid. It is retarded. You'd be a fucking Mongolic if you even tried it. Don't even go for it. You will only hit Shield of the Righteous when you have three Holy Power Points and Sacred Duty up. If you don't have Sacred Duty up in between, keep spamming Crusader Strike or Avenger Shield if it's up. Or keep hitting your uh, Sacred Duty proc generators. But don't forget, Crusader Strike does a shit ton of damage still, okay? And those are basically the three rules of Prop Pally. That's it. You know, always blow your cooldowns on time. Um, I'm going to change my spec a bit, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna go over that at the end of the video. I'm going to actually log in the game, and I'm going to show you what my new spec for PvP is going to be. Um, I really don't feel like Eternal Glory and Guarded by the Light are even fucking remotely useful anymore. So I might be going into Hollowed Ground and um, Reckoning more. Look at this fucking druid. He is shitting. I'm going to fuck him up. Fuck this. I get so mad sometimes times when they come at me in my de demo that I just have to fucking get out because you know how you hear the fucking druid uh, uh, shreds and all the fucking shit they do to you fuck this here we go so here we are. I'm gonna I'm fishing my sacred duty proc 
I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten it yet. Hit Avengers. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Bam, 22K. See, in that situation right there, I had two Holy Power Points. The Crusader Strike that, that sparked my second um, Holy Power Point gave me a Grand Crusader proc. I hit Grand Crusader, which give, gave me my third Holy Power Point, and then I hit Shield of the Righteous. So you guys are seeing what I'm getting at here. I mean, Grand Crusader proc is instant. When you hit it, it's instant. You don't have to wait for any GCD to happen. You hit Grand Crusader, and you generate that Holy Power, which is faster than this. It's faster hitting the Grand Crusader proc Avenger Shield for a Holy Power than it is hitting actual Crusader Strike because you have to wait for the GCD to come around to hit it. Look at this fucking... What is he doing? Oh, God. Is he trying to run away? Is he fucking trying to run away? Come back here with your ass. I, I, I put a bop right there on the uh, mage. That's right. That's right, folks. I helped the mage out, all right? You saw it firsthand here. I helped my little my little gnome brother in... Was he a gnome? I think he was a gnome. 23K... Shield of the Righteous, AK uh, Hammer of Fuck Your Face, he's dead. <laughs> he was trying to actually, can you believe it? Um, I don't know, right now, Frost, I'll tell you right now, Frost is pretty damn OP. I'm not going to lie, Frost is super uber fucking OP right now, and um, they are doing a lot of damage in PvP. Frost is doing damage, I don't know, Hangus will tell you, man, Hangus will tell you, what the fuck happened with mages? I thought we were cool. I thought we were all like fixed. You know, I thought the whole mage situation was taken care of. Where you know, you know, they they nerfed a little bit of their damage. Now they're they're sh now they're fucking shitting on people now more than before. Like, is it that Blizzard just can't figure it out? I don't know. Sixteen K S tour on this hunter right here. But um, I sincerely just you know, if you're gonna watch this video, what the fuck? I'm the king of the world. Dragon Slayer Tally, baby, right there. Dragon Slayer Tally with Ragnaros. Now we're gonna. Is, did they change Circle of Gay? What's the red part mean? Does red part mean that if I stand in there, I have a more chance of being iced? If I jump over and hit the white part, I'm good. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm gonna chase this mage here. There's a fire mage behind me, apparently. This mage is pretty fucking bad. Um, I already have freedom up, so I can't get Nova. 21k Avenger Shield. Keep running. Keep running, ho. Keep going. Keep going, little blood elf. Oh, oh, polymorph. Don't think so. Hodged. 16k Crusader Strike. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now? Oh, come on. Judge, do something. Oh, <laughs> gave her a 6.7k uh, uh, judgment to kill that fucking uh, mage there. Oh, God, I love drunken battlegrounds. I'm not drunk as I was doing this battleground. I'm pretty much blasted right now as I'm commentating on the battleground. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I like, I like to do whatever. You know, I'm a pretty easy outgoing guy. Oh, here's where I get just, I get straight up shit on here. Um, okay, so we're going to... I'm trying to kill this um, shaman because, frankly, I just don't like shamans. I'm getting fucked up, but I'm going to kill the shaman. Before anything happens, the shaman will fucking die. Oh, God, come on. Kill him. Hammer fuck your face. Hammer, yes. Yes. 15.4k hammer up. Fuck your face. Got that shaman before I get my ass handed to me. Oh, God. And right, now uh, as I res, I'm going to catch the warrior, you know, trying to run back. Hold on. Let me take a swing of my four loco without choking again. Mm -mm. That's good. Samuel L. Jackson. It'll get you fucked up. You'll be fucking fat chicks in no time. A couple little uh, Holy Wrath Tickle Pickles right there. Little Holy Wrath Tickle Pickles. But, um, oh, God. Who's that guy over there? Is that a hunter? I mean, some players are just playing out retarded. And what is that pet? Is that a fucking squid? Is that is that a calamari? What is that shit? Oh, my God. 15 S store followed by a 12K hammer of fuck your face. Um, So, I mean, in general, folks, right now, ooh, the Horde win. The Horde win. Oh, God. Fuck them. God damn it. No, just kidding. I, lo I love the Horde. I, I got nothing but love for the Horde still, guys. I'm telling you. I still got nothing but love for the Horde. Um, Tally's World Order. Um, oh, here we go. This, hold on. I'll get back to that in a second. I just got to shit on this fucking... <laughs> what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, God. See, I'm going to fish for that Sacred Duty proc. I'm going to get it reset. I'm going to keep spamming Crusader Strike. Why? Because I don't have Sacred Duty yet. I, let's see if I get it here. Bam! Avenger Shield gives me Sacred Duty. Inquisition, Inquiboom, coming up, bam, 42.4k, he just got shit on, dude, oh my god, and I just, you know, run my little dwarf ass over his body, <clears throat> Ooh, so far I'm leading in damage there, and I'm being a disgusting pig this video, but so what?
So what? So, um, yeah, I mean, honestly, if I were to say um, this is probably um, a buff for Paladins, some people are not calling it a buff. I'm calling it a buff straight up. You know, your Sacred Duty uptime is way more than before, which means that you're hitting your Shield of the Righteousness more often than usual. Um, people are like, oh, well, we lost Word of Glory. I'm, okay, wa rewatch this whole entire video and tell me how many times I actually used Word of Glory. Honestly, Word of Glory was good for duels because, you know, you'd be able to top yourself off if you were low. But in Battlegrounds and Arenas, Word of Glory was probably most used on other players to get their HP up, to get them going. But um, in all honesty, I don't believe that the Word of Glory nerf, and it's really not even a nerf. Now, you, instead of, you know, being able to hit a three Holy Power Point Word of Glory every 9.5 seconds... You know, now you only now you get to do it every 20 seconds. So that means you have to wait a whole nother 10 seconds to hit your word of glory as before you would be able to do it every 10 seconds. And uh, people are whining about that. People are like, oh, I quit prop paladin. I can't believe word of glory is 20 second cooldown. Just you guys just need to shut the fuck up and listen. Listen to the changes to paladins. You just got one of the most OP. Oh, this guy's gonna get fucked on. Oh, 18k shield of the righteous. You all, we all just got one of the best changes in the world with sacred duty and holy power generation. Okay, this is this is good. This is good for us. How people are describing all of this as bad is beyond me. This is a hundred percent great. Okay, so you know if you're a prop paladin, go out there, start practicing. You know, generating that holy power faster and faster and faster. Uh, sacred duty use it use every second of it even if you think there's two or three seconds left and you're not going to get that shield of the righteous off do it it's going to happen 16k shield of the righteous there goes that mage um what's the name of this fucker right here choice well that's a cute name would you fucking look on the wow forms for that one i hate it when people look on the wow forms for a name what should i name my uh my druid uh worgen let me go look on the wow forums uh, let's name let's name him <laughs> Worgen Freeman. <laughs> Worgen Freeman. Oh my God! People like that piss me the fuck off. They have that they can't be so original that they can't think of their own fucking name. They have to actually go out and look on a forum for a fucking name for the goddamn tune. That shit, my friends, pisses me off. But um, this is Strand of the Ancients here. We're almost at the conclusion of our video. Um, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for the support on uh, State of the Tally. Um, the show is going to be um, actually, you know, be more of a show style than showing you actual gameplay. Because, uh, frankly, if I show too much WoW gameplay, then I don't get revenue for it, which means daddy don't get paid. 30,000 Shields of the Righteous. Oh, I just had to say it. So, um, State of the Tally is going to be more like a show. People actually uh, responded more to my last um, State of the Tally episode 5 more than anything. Also, big thanks to TTB, the Terry and Bezbold. Terry and Bezbold. I don't know how he says it. I, I can't even really pronounce his name, so I just call him TTB. Uh, thanks to TTB for giving me the tip on how to make my text clearer. You're going to, okay, I want you guys to compare this video right here that you're watching to a previous video of mine in PvP, and you will see the text, the text in the game, like the text from my um, scrolling combat, the text in my voodoo, the text in my chat, my where my unit frames are, is way more clear and more precise. Thank you, TTB, for the tips on that one. Uh, HolyShield.com is my personal website, guys. Visit it. Uh, I have some new updates there, like showing you the latest uh, Tier 12 um, armor preview for Paladins. Uh, Facebook.com slash Towley. Uh, go ahead and visit that. Become a fan of my page. Uh, Twitter.com slash Towley Tank. Anytime I post on Twitter, you'll see it on Facebook. So whichever one you want to be a part of, go for it. TGN.TV, the WoW channel. Girlfriend's computer just spoke to me. That's fucking weird. Oh, God. It's got to be the 4Loco. TGN.TV. This has been Tally. Hope you guys had fun watching this. I'm going to be posting uh, more arena videos this week and BG videos later next week. More live streams. More raids. How the fuck did I get up there? More of everything. <laughs> so um, give this video a thumbs up, please. And peace the fuck out, my peoples. Hey, so as you guys know, when you're watching a movie and it's over... um. Sometimes there's extra credits with, like, outtakes, shit like that. Well, this is my outtake. It's going to be my spec change. A little bonus, a little extra on the Blu-ray for you guys, all right? Um, I'm going to reset my talent points for PvP, and I'm going to show you guys the change that I'm going to make. Now, the only major change that I'm going to make is Guarded by the Light. I do not wish to spec into Guarded by the Light anymore for PvP. Um, the shield is useless for me. Uh, I'd rather spend my GCDs 
on actual damage abilities rather than Word of Glory now that it's 20 seconds. I will keep Eternal Glory though only because uh, when I use Word of Glory to heal myself in a tight situation, uh, if it does proc Eternal Glory, I can use that second set of three Holy Power Points for a damage ability like Shield of the Righteous. So let's start specking. We got our Divinity. We got our Seal of the Pure for damage. We got our Eternal Glory. We got our Judgment of the Just. We have our Improved Hammer of Justice, which is OP. Uh, we have Wrath of the Lightbringer, uh, Hammer of the Righteous. Sometimes I, I use Hammer of the Righteous a lot in on um, Battlegrounds where there's flags being capped, like uh, Arathi Basin and um, Ultrak Valley. I just sit on the flag and start spamming Hammer of the uh, Righteous so I can hit people. Uh, Sanctuary, Hollowed Ground, folks, will be the new talent that I'm specking into, not guarded by the light. Uh, more damage with your Consecration with an 80% less mana cost. Thank God, because it costs way too much to begin with. Um, Shield of the Righteous, Grand Crusader. Uh, Divine Guardian is still really good for arenas and for your raid. Uh, Holy Shield, uh, Vindications. I, I honestly, like, if I had it my way, folks, I would not spec into Holy Shield. I would not spec into uh, Hammer of the Righteous. If that was my choice, even though I just said it's good for those f uh, type of flag maps, I still wouldn't do it. But since Blizzard is forcing us to use 31 points in our main tree, then there you go. Uh, we're going to go with Crusade. We're going to go with Improved Judgment because I like uh, ranging judgments on uh, mages who try to blink away, hunters who try to disengage, um, Pursuit of Justice, Rule of Law, and that's pretty much it. Let's learn those. And that is my new spec for Prop Paladin PvP. Peace out, guys. Enjoy.